Hey y'all, it's BB Nails and More, and today I have a different type of video. And today I'm going to be showing y'all me coloring my hair. So y'all get to see what I look like, and I look a little funky, but um, I have pink hair right now, and it's starting to fade, and my roots are showing, and I already, ha already have my hair separated. I'm going to put in two different colors. And, um, so this is the pink that I have in now, and I'm going to show you what the color that I have on now is this stuff. This is what the, uh, jar, the box looks like, and it's, the brand is Beyond the Zone, Hooray for Rose, and it's a beautiful color, and it's, um, 2.05 ounces and whenever I use this I get about um, I get to use this twice in my hair so you get a decent amount and this is a permanent color which will last several months and with this type of coloring you've got to add developer to it but, um, so this is the color I have been using, but I'm going to switch it up a little and use something different today. Um, this is what I'm going to be putting in my hair today. This is also Beyond the Zone. They're the same brand, but this is a different type pink, and it's called Rose Quartz. So, I, I'm... I'm thinking it's similar, but this does look quite a bit darker. And this is 4.4 .4 ounces. So you get quite a bit more. And um, I'm not, this actually might be called Crystal Crush. I'm not sure if it's Rose Quartz or Crystal Crush. But this is a semi permanent color. And with this, these type bottles you do not have to mix developer do not mix developer so I can just throw this on my head as is so no developer needed this is what I'm gonna do for the pink this time and I'm also gonna add in some uh, purple to this area I have it sectioned off so I'm just gonna do a little bit of the purple so most of my head still gonna be pink with the underneath purple and I had a little bit of this left, so I've used this in the past. And it's all squished and damaged, but the brand is Perfect Intensity, and it does also come in a box. And this is a, uh, I, th I think it's semi-permanent as well. So with this, it does not need developer. You can just use it as is out of the tube. Um... And you can't really tell the color anymore, but uh, it's uh, pure purple. So here's, I've already squeezed it all out in my bowl. Um, so it's a pretty dark purple. You can see around the rim. Um, I've already put it in there. And with this, I wanted it a little lighter of a purple. So I added white conditioner to, to the uh, purple color and um so I, I just squeezed a good amount in also it'll lighten the color some and it'll also make the color last longer so the conditioner is good for both so i started mixing it and i gotta finish mixing it up and it did lighten it up so that's a little note if you know you have hair color and you want it lighter a lot of them you can add conditioner and plus, while I have it on my head, the conditioner will help soften my hair and make it smell good. So, whenever I can, I like to add conditioner to my hair colors. Of course, you can't add it to all of them. Now, if I were to, I'm not sure if I added it to this, if it were messed up or not. But I think you can add to most hair colors. But I have added them in the past, and it's like made the hair color all weird and stuff but it did lighten it up so this is the color I'll be using 
And I just had like that much. There wasn't much left in the jar or the tube. I squeezed every bit out that I could. Um, so I wanted to just show you. It made a lot adding that conditioner. And it doesn't really lighten it too much, to be honest. So these are the two colors I'll be using. Beyond Zone, Rose Quartz, Crystal Crush. I'm not sure. And then Pure Purple, which I'll have plenty left. I do not need all that. So anyways, we're going to get started. And I already parted my hair, like I said. So let's see if this pink's much of a difference. And I'm thinking here soon I'm going to get my hair cut. I mean, it's not super long. And my hair's kind of bunched up from being in a, in a ponytail. But um, you're supposed to, it's better to color hair on dirty hair. So I'll be showering today, so I figured I'd go ahead and throw some color in and then shower later and i'll keep the hair color on for most of the day i even sleep with my hair color usually also which i have a cap to put over my head so the hair color doesn't get everywhere and then i have these little clippies i've got four of them so um, and I've already brushed my hair, but then I put my hair back up, but I'm going to run the brush through to try to get out all the tangles. And, um, and I've got a, and I'm sitting in my kitchen, uh, because I have a little more room than in the nail room. Normally I do it in the bathroom, but there would not be enough room to film. So I brought me out a mirror. You can come through. Just be quiet because I'm filming. So, yeah. I'm just doing a quick brush. And then this is how I do my hair. And sorry, I, it was hard to get the angle of the camera. So, you may not see all of me at all times. And I have no makeup on or any of that. So, excuse how I look. I'm just lounging around on the weekend and then coloring my hair. What do you need? Okay, you know, I, I don't know. Take a drink of that. Because you're not going to be able to get in the fridge right now. You'll have to wait. Okay, so I've got it. Dang it. Pretty good and brushed. So here's what. And it's definitely faded some, but this has lasted for several months. It's been a while since I've colored it. Okay, let me shake this. I'm going to put the uh, pink on. Yeah, sorry, it's not a really good angle. I'm going to have to make sure my head's in. I had gotten a new light off of Amazon, one of the ring lights with the tripod. And to be honest, it sucks. The light already snapped off after a few times of using it. The uh, tripod always wants to go in for like fold in. I'm always having to straighten it out. The poles never want to stay up. So anyways, I just um, put it on my roots first. And... Now, I'm not going to film the whole entire thing, but I'll just do some of it. And if I get it, and I'll get it on my face, which is fine. It won't, you know, it'll come off. Ooh, this stuff smells good, y'all. All these tight bottles, it's like they have conditioner in it. I'm not sure if it does, but. So, I'm going to show you all me coloring my roots, and and then I'll, I'll show you all, like, different times of me coloring it. It's 
So yeah, you just cover it up. Um, I've always colored my own hair. I've not. I've only went and got my hair color a few times, like when I was way younger. But I've just always done my own hair because it's so expensive to get a color at a shop. Um. So yeah, I just do my own, and it's way cheaper and um, way more affordable. It's kind of hard to squeeze out. Yeah, so I wanted a little darker of a pink, but nothing. I didn't. I didn't want nothing too bright. It's already covering up my roots pretty good because they were pretty dark. So yeah, you just cover up the roots and and of course, you know, it's hard to get every bit, but you know, I just try my best and then whenever I after I done putting the pink on I will um, uh, I'll put the um, I'll put all the pink up and I'll put it up like I had it when I first started filming I'll just put it all up in a big ponytail and then I'll do the uh, bottom part, which I'll show y'all. But yeah, you see me putting the pink on, and it's already covering up my roots. It's It really is already working automatically. Now I'll have to take my glasses off to um, get to down here. And I've got the mirror in front of me, of course. I got one propped up in my kitchen chair. And I may need to add conditioner to this. Because I only have one bottle of this because I wasn't sure if I'd like it. But let me show you this side. And then... I'm going to do the rest of the pink, and then I'll show y'all. That way you don't have to watch me color my hair the whole entire time. But I just wanted to, um, you know, show y'all. Hold on, I need to put the bottle down. You know, show something different besides just nail stuff. See, it, it really does really well. It's already coloring the roots instantly. All right, guys, I'll be back here in a minute. Here, I'm showing y'all me how I just, you know, have gloves on, and then I just use my fingers and run the color all the way through my hair. And then once I do a, a strand, I uh, use these clippies and clip it over. And I'll, oh, I ended up pouring the pink into a bowl and added conditioner so I can make the uh, color go further. So I'll just take a strand with the glob on my gloves and just run it through. And this is how I do my hair coloring. May not be the most prettiest way, but it does the job, and it always looks nice. And you just take a section at a time. Sorry, I'm, not, I'm trying to get it all in. And I just run it through the color. And I just dip my fingers, and here's a, and then it helps me get, you know, the uh, dark spots.
and then I will join it with uh, this one that I just did. And I just make sure the hair is saturated. And you can tell because it'll be wet. So it's quite easy to color your own hair if anybody's interested. And there's like hundreds of colors to choose from, y'all. And um, I get my hair color at um, usually Sally's. Um, but you can all, I also have ordered it online before. And um, so, and there's a lot more to choose from if you get it online. See, I just run my fingers with the the hair color. I don't usually use the brush that I, that I have with the purple because really it's just much easier to use my fingers just to slide it on. See, I need to saturate that. See how it's a lot, a lot lighter. And I totally need to get my dead ends cut off which that'll be my next thing because I'm, I'm really really thinking of chopping my hair off not all of it not like crazy short but I definitely need some of this hair because I've bleached it quite a bit and when you bleach your hair it gets fried so I need to get all that fixed Okay, so that is saturated, and I'll come back later. Yeah. All right, I'm back, guys. Um, I've already done all the pink, and so now I'm going to work on the purple. And... Shit. I'm filming. All right, so I'm putting in the purple. And I'm just going to use my fingers. It's way easier. And this purple color is a lot thinner than the pink. And um, so I'm going to be more careful. Because it's a thinner consistency. And it will run a more. So here's the pretty color. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, I'll just run my fingers through. And it's already covered up this pink. See? This purple is really good. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I had already put a white conditioner in. And it doesn't affect the uh, color at all. Alright, so I need my little clippy. <coughs> <coughs> Dang it, I need a napkin. All 
Okay, can y'all see? I'm trying to stay in frame and focus. But like I said earlier, my ring light literally broke after um, a few a handfuls of times of using it. The light literally snapped off the um, what's it called the um, the tripod. So I've had to duct tape it on and rig it up so I can film. So, it's covering up that pink that I had on already. Look how pretty. I am loving it. Beautiful color. And, <coughs> excuse me. So, let me do the other side. So let's do this area, and since it's not much, I'm just going to just do it all. So you just run it through, and then whatever color gets on my skin, I'll just take a baby wipe and wipe it up, and most of it will come up, and then whatever doesn't, you know, I'll just scrub it good in the shower. And then it'll come off the skin. Shush up in there. So, this purple does really good. Y'all should really check it out. They got tons of colors. The BTK, the Beyond, I think it's uh, Beyond the Zone. Yep, yeah, Beyond the Zone brand does really, really good. I highly recommend these colors or this brand and they got tons of colors and you can get these at Sally's Beauty and probably online as well I'm assuming I'm not real sure dang it I'm trying not to get it on my neck but There's this little bit that it's hard to, to get, and of course it's hard to see the back of the head, but all I do is can do my best. All right. So I just run the color through the, through the hair. So yeah, look how beautiful this purple is. The pink is not seeming to be too pink, to be honest. I don't know. Let's hope so. If not, guess I'll throw the purple on top. Or I'll just use this other pink that I have. But it's pretty good and covered, I think. And now I'll make sure the um, the uh, back area and the roots are all covered. Which I'll just use this and just feel for the uh, roots. And if the uh, purple and pink blend together, it's fine because it'll be underneath of the hair and I'll always wear my hair up. So it'll be all right. 
and then I'll just get brush it underneath to make sure I got the roots and all that and then I'll go over with the pink Grab another napkin. Could you quit staying in there and watching me, please? So, okay, go on. Just turn my husband's on. irritating me, guys. My husband's irritating me, y'all, because I'm filming and he won't. He's staring at me while I'm doing shit. You're amazingly beautiful. Yeah. I'm admiring you. Okay, go on, please. You're distracting me. I'm trying to film. Good choice. Good choices. Do any of you ladies' husbands like to irritate y'all? When y'all are filming, do your husbands like to irritate? Please answer down below. Because I know there are some husbands that irritate. Like, every time I'm filming, I'll let them know I'm filming, and then he starts calling while I'm filming. Now I'll take the brush to make sure I got the um, uh, roots since I have some pink left over. And it helps get the little fine baby hairs that grow and get behind the ears. and all that and i'm about done let me get this side just to make sure that i got it real good so yeah um thank you for watching guys and i'm about done ready to wrap this up and i um will show y'all how my hair turned out in the next video and um sorry it's hard for me to see so i'm making sure i get all my little baby hairs so um yes thank you for watching and i hope y'all come back and if you're new welcome to my channel and i hope y'all come back and if you're not new thank you for always watching and Showing your love and support. I greatly appreciate it. And thanks y'all for leaving comments. I really love it. And I always try to get back to each and every one. And I love commenting back. It's awesome. So yeah. Thank y'all for joining and watching. And I hope y'all enjoyed this different type of video. And yes, I know it looks silly. But you know. That's part of being beautiful, LOL. But, um, yeah, if uh, this is just a great way, cheap, easy, quick way to color your hair when you can't afford the salon prices. And they got tons of colors to choose from. And um, these, uh, real quick, these... Uh, Hair colors are like 5 to $6 at Sally's, and I can usually get two uses out of them. So it's really cheap, and they got tons of colors. It's a great way to venture out and color your own hair, and, you know, for cheap, I don't spend much at all to be able to make my hair look beautiful. And so it's if you haven't tried it before, I recommend coloring your own hair it's real easy it is messy and a little time consuming but it's a hell of a lot cheaper than going to the salon all right thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed it i'll see y'all next time bye guys